Hey, this is Justin from NetGate. Today, I'm excited to take you through the latest release of Tensor version 2406. We'll explore the new features and enhancements coming with this update. For those who may not be familiar, Tensor is a high-speed virtual router and VPN aggregator capable of exceeding 100 gigabits per second. Businesses, governments, educational institutions, and service providers can deploy Tensor as a NetGate hardware appliance, bare metal image, or virtual appliance on Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Tensor software leverages several open source projects along with NetGate's value-added software. NetGate integrates these technologies into an enterprise-grade turnkey software solution complemented by NetGate assured testing, release packaging, and 24-7 customer support. Now, let's dive into the features and enhancements in Tensor version 2406. We'll be referencing the release notes and blog, so be sure to check those out for more detailed information. With this release, we're introducing a new ARM64 image of Tensor, which offers an opportunity to reduce your infrastructure costs. This release now supports both AWS Graviton and Microsoft Azure Ampere Ultra options. Keep an eye on the AWS and Azure marketplaces for the new Tensor listings designed specifically for M7G Graviton and DPSv5 Ampere Ultra instances. Tensor 2406 is introducing enhanced VPN capabilities to streamline and secure remote access for diverse user groups. Now supporting both IPv4 and IPv6 clients, Tensor offers flexible authentication methods and customizable encryption and integrity algorithms across different VPNs. This enables administrators to segregate user groups into separate VPNs, enhancing access control and isolation. With EAP radius authentication, administrators can assign specific virtual IP addresses to clients based on their user group. This feature allows for precise access control configurations, ensuring users only access resources pertinent to their roles. Moreover, Tensor supports multiple simultaneous VPN connections for a single user, facilitating seamless connectivity from various mobile devices. This multi-connection capability ensures continuous access and enhances user productivity across multiple platforms. Next up, we've made several improvements to enhance your user experience. Now you can view interface average throughput statistics for the last five minutes, showing both packets per second and bits per second. We've also introduced rolling counters for near real-time updates. A new command, show interface VRRP, allows you to simultaneously monitor VRRP for both IPv4 and IPv6. Additionally, the new show IPsec tunnel brief command displays a handy table of connected IPsec tunnels, perfect for managing remote access IPsec VPNs. And last but not least, Tensor will introduce enhanced logging capabilities by now supporting retrieval of system data via REST APIs and CLI. This upgrade enables filtering of results based on categories, service types, and specific date and time ranges. Additionally, VPP logging has been updated to default to syslog. Tensor logs can now seamlessly forward to remote logging hosts like Splunk. This enhancement significantly improves operational visibility and facilitates centralized management of network logs. Now, before we wrap up, let's touch on pricing and support. Tensor is priced simply on a per instance annual subscription basis at $999 per year and includes TAC Pro with 24 by 7 by 365 email support and a 24 hour SLA. You can also upgrade to TAC Enterprise, which includes phone support and a four hour SLA. Tensor is available through our store at shop.netgate.com, on AWS and Azure, or through our partner program. If you're looking for a more personal experience, our sales team is here to help. You can contact them at sales at netgate.com However you choose to purchase Tensor, we are here every step of the way. And that wraps up our overview of Tensor version 2406. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more news, updates, and guides from NetGate. I'm Justin, I'll see you next time.